Uh, hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can make these parametric louvers. Uh, as you can see here, I can change the location of the curve, which I'm going to explain at the height which we want to reach, and also the number we need. So we can control that too. Uh, there is also a movement, which is going to be uh, dispatching and what to explain and then moving them forward. And also how many vertical uh, surfaces we want. Uh, we can also convert the surface for the louvers into a freeform surface or nerve surface or uh, flat connecting surfaces. Uh, at the end, I can bake them in Rhino. So you can see that this is going to be the louver surface and these are going to be the vertical uh, surface we're going to create in this tutorial. So be sure to watch the video till the end and let's get started from scratch. Uh, okay, first of all, what I want to do is to make a tween curve. So you explain the basic of the uh, this command, which is really important. Uh, if you go to the curve and spline, you have this tween curve component. Let's put it on the canvas. There is a curve A and curve B. So for example, if I just draw a curve from the front view, and draw a curve like this and right click on the curve A, extract it and set it to the curve A. Uh, I can have the curve, uh, the first curve. We can also draw the second curve or we can just project this curve uh, onto a plane. So if I go to the perspective view, uh, I can say project and use this project uh, onto a plane, which you can find in transform. And here you go, fine. Uh, we can say that I want to project this curve. Uh, the default plane is X, Y, so it's projecting it on the ground. But what I want to do is uh, connect a point to this plane and set one point, use the control key to come up. And because this point is going to be an X, Y plane, that's we are saying an X, Y plane for this one. Uh, we are actually projecting that uh, onto this plane. Okay, so we can connect the point to the plane. And uh, now if I connect this to the curve B, you can see it's uh, producing a tween curve. Uh, you can give it a factor which is between zero and one. So if I just give a number slider between zero and one, you can see that we can convert that from this curve to the second curve, okay? Uh, to make it uh, as simple as possible, I'm going to give it a range. You can find it in sets uh, range give it to the factor. Uh, the domain by default is 0 to 1, which we need. And the steps can be defined here. So 0, uh, we can say from 3 to maybe 12. And let's name that count. And we can control that. So now you can see that this is a good way of controlling a curve and producing a parametric tween. Uh, because I want to control the base uh, curve, also in Grasshopper, I'm going to use the curve uh, spline interpolation to produce it and go to the front view and uh, pick up a series of vertices. Right click on the vertices, extract it, and right click here and set multiple points. I'm going to just say this is the curve. Let's just delete this one. Uh, again, this is going to be the height we can control. This is going to be the form of the curves. And we can simply uh, control it by just moving those points. Okay, after producing the twin curve, uh, what I want to do is to also uh, move them in the y direction and uh, produce the louvers, right? Something like this. So what we want to do is to make these curves move without anything, which, which is zero movement. But the second group, which is going to be these curves, the twin curves, are going to move in the y direction, uh, whatever we want, and that is going to give us the connection. So uh, let's use the dispatch command. You can also find it in set list dispatch and give it to the tween. The default pattern is true false. That's why it's going to convert it into group list A true and list B false like this. And uh, we can work with the list B and move it a little bit forward. So move in the Y direction. As you can see here, uh, we can say minus x 
bring it a little bit forward and now we can just give it a number we'll turn off the dispatch turn off the tween now you can see that we are actually moving the second group a little bit forward as you can see here we'll just do it. okay that's it and now we just have to weave them back because this is the first group and this is the second group I can use the weave command which you can find in set list weave and give this as the stream 1 and stream 2 zero, 0 and 1 the default weaving pattern is zero, 01 so it's actually picking uh, one from the first set and then the second is going to go from here so what is happening here is that uh, if this is zero uh, let me go here and turn this off and talk about this here uh, if this is zero one two three four and this one is zero one two three and four uh, when you weave it based on stream zero and one it's going to say okay this is my zero then I'm going to go to the next group and pick the zero and make it one then I'm going to go to the first group again and make the second the next one to two and this one to three so it's going to be zero one two three four five uh, till the end so you can also weave more streams if you want to but remember the pattern has to be defined here uh, which you can go to set multiple integers and define that uh, okay now we can go to the surface and say loft you can see that we can loft that if we want the loft options we can go and say uh, normal to straight and commit change you can see that we have a straight connection if we want to okay so remember that you can control that too uh, another thing we want to do is to make the verticals you can give that a custom preview from the display and I usually use the surface B rep edges to see the edges too uh, now that we have that we just want to uh, project the division so I'm going to go to the curve uh, division and use this shatter tool to shatter a curve into the parts this is the curve uh, right click reparameterize is going to be from 0 to one so it's completely based on the curve we want and then you just have to give the parameter so for example if you give 0 0.2 0 0.4 till the end it's going to divide it uh, we can again use the range we had here and this time we can divide it in whatever part we want this is going to be the count of the verticals this is going to be the count of louvers right so remember that now we can just project them again on the ground so project default is XY plane which is fine assume that's going to project uh, we just have to connect them together so the segments we have here if I bake it you can see that we have the segments and we have the projection of those segments on the ground too and we just have to connect them if you want to do that if I give it to a loft with a shift key you can see it's not working what you have to do is to when you have a set of two curves just graft them and it's going to actually uh, bring them into groups of two as you can see here it's going to convert that into groups of two and uh, if I simplify this you can see it says uh, make 15 lofts by two times right so that is also possible uh, that is going to make the surface for the loft uh, the problem here is uh, because the curve has a different distribution of the point it's going to have different divisions but I wanted to show you this tutorial that you can also project that if you want a better result what you can do here is to make those point a little bit far uh, from another okay and something like this and you can see it's completely 
evenly distributed. So it's really related on the points you have for the control points. And we can bring that a little bit up. And now we can control the number of louvers, verticals. And if we want to, we can go to the loft option and make it straight or normal like this. So this is uh, the complete algorithm. Let me make this completely uh, visible here. Uh, this is the algorithm that you can make the parametric louvers. And I hope this tutorial was useful. For the Paracourse members, I've recorded another tutorial which you can divide a surface. So we're going to talk about a surface we have in Rhino. And as you can see here, we can control the height of these louvers. Let me just zoom in, change it, control it. So we're going to talk about more advanced lessons about how you can work on a surface because we have to have additional steps to make it. Uh, so if you're interested on that, you can check out the link below and also learn that step by step. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just ask below and see you next time. Bye.